Um, hey guys, just by back to this tutorial. Um, it was asked by a lot of people, including Jcraft and Coco, which is HD, I'm pretty sure. That was a really big inspiration just to do this one tutorial for them. Um, but Coco Licious has inspired me to do more tutorials, so I'll put his link and Jcraft in the description. You should check them out if you already haven't. Um, but this is Sony Vegas motion tracking, but it's not 100% on the dot. It's a lot of trial and error. So I already got my clip here. Um, I'm going to just shorten it a little bit and then drag it back out. So you can use pretty much any cinematic you want. Um, I'm using this. If you just want this cinematic, um, send me a message on Skype or in a PM. Um, so first of all, um, uh, you go. You have to go properties and maintain aspect ratio, disable resample as usual. Um, make a new video track. Track. Go to media generators. I use this text uh, plugin. Legacy plugin, Video Factory text, I'm pretty sure it's um, standard with it all Sony Vegas. Um, so, um, you type in whatever, so for this I'm just obviously going to use top for the tutorial. Um, and the font I used in the video is called Beavis, which is here. Uh, you're going to want to larger it up or whatever size you want for the video or the cinematic. Um, and the bigger the easier to track, I guess, as far as I've played around with you same disable resample and maintain aspect ratio um, and so first of all what you want to do is go to compositing mode 3d source alpha go to shorten the clip of course to the same thing sorry uh, this is my first tutorial um, go to track motion and you're going to want to um, unclick I mean click make sure these two here are clicked y axis preventation or whatever and the uh, Z axis one and just move it I'm gonna use this pole for like a uh, kind of a um, where I'm gonna track mine to and you can rotate it whatever to make it look more three-dimensional or tracked and so I'm gonna do it like that I'm gonna track it a bit All right. so there's mine and all you're gonna want to do for this this is a really simple cinematic so you just go to the last frame go back to track motion um, and then you're just going to want to move it and this is where the trial and error is just move it like there and you go back and play through the video see that was a really really first go go like that was my first go at it it was really easy nice clean as fuck and so after that pretty much you're done all you have to do you can you don't even have to do this you can just add add it to look better add a color correction whatever you want um so this is my first tutorial guys, motion tracking in but, uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10, um, I will be doing another one of these but for a different, uh, well it's a plug in here, uh, up here, or using all the, one of those, um, so yes, comment, rate, subscribe please, and thanks.